Let's talk about FileMaker 13. Version 13 is a significant update to the platform and adds a number of features and capabilities that complement what's available in FileMaker 12. However, the file format hasn't changed. So files created in FileMaker 12, such as this one here on the desktop of my computer, can be opened and used in FileMaker 13 without conversion. As part of that, the file name extension, or suffix, is still .fmp12, so even files created new in FileMaker 13 continue to use the .fmp12 extension. I have here a copy of the bibliographile database that was created originally in FileMaker 12. As you can see, it opens directly into a copy of FileMaker Pro 13 that I've installed on this computer, and it looks and operates just as it should with all the content in place and fully functional. With a couple of notable exceptions, files created in FileMaker 13 can be opened and will work fine in FileMaker 12 too. The exceptions being, firstly, if you specifically choose to prevent the file from being accessed in an earlier version. More on that later in this chapter. And secondly, if your file uses new features made available for the first time in FileMaker 13, those features won't be available and won't work, or at least won't work as intended, when the file is accessed using FileMaker 12. Those caveats aside, FileMaker 12 and FileMaker 13 files are broadly equivalent. Not only is the file format the same, but the structure of the program, the menus, and most of the controls are also familiar. One or two items have been moved, and some things have been added, but otherwise the environment is familiar and techniques that worked and were useful in version 12 are still available and still applicable in version 13. In this chapter, I'll walk you through a number of the new features and capabilities of FileMaker 13, giving you some insight into what's new and what's changed, and helping you to appreciate the key differences. I'll be focusing in particular on the new features and their uses. However, throughout the remaining chapters of the title, I use FileMaker 12 to show the broad sweep of available tools in FileMaker, so what you learn will be broadly applicable to your work, whichever version you're using.